What's good? This is Chef Bob, and today I'm going to be preparing for you some crab cakes. I've got some fresh ingredients we're dealing with today. Fresh garlic, fresh jumbo lump crab meat, fresh herbs, fresh bell peppers, fresh lemons, fresh onions. Those are the key ingredients whenever I'm preparing something. So first, we're going to start out first by finally chopping up our herbs. I'm going to take out some fresh cilantro, fresh parsley, we need the stems from the herbs. You know, too much chop those up, so break them off. You can use any herbs in the wood, you don't have to use parsley or cilantro, but that's what I prefer. Now that your fresh herbs are finally chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the mixing bowl. This first time we're gonna go. Next, you wanna go ahead and chop up your sweet onion, fresh sweet bell pepper. We're going to dice it up. Dice it up. It's pretty important. As well. A tablespoon. I'm, I'm making the, the veggies that I um, chopped up. I'm just basically like just sauteing them a little bit, giving them a little flavor with that butter and that roasted garlic. I'm roasting the garlic in the pan and whatnot. And those herbs just swing that all of the um, labels or whatnot that's on the inside and so the crab cakes once you once we um eat them the peppers and um, the peppers and onions won't be too crunchy they'll be nice and have a nice texture and flavor to them so that consistency won't be bad after like eating it so long all right next we're going to add the mayonnaise and the grape pun it's going to kind of hold everything together in the crab cakes Give it a nice rich and creamy flavor or whatnot. So that's our next step. Alright, next we're gonna go ahead and add our panko breadcrumbs. I ain't say about a half a cup. We're gonna go ahead and add our jumbo lump crab meat. We got like about a cup of crab meat. Go ahead and a little kosher salt, granulated garlic, lemon pepper, olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and fold in, fold in the crab meat, fold in everything, mix everything together. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna break up the crab meat. We're gonna be gentle with it so you can still have nice size crab meat. Get that fresh food, you know, that fresh taste. That's fresh. Crack brown pepper, brown black pepper. Continue to fold in the crab meat. Yeah. Um, next up, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go ahead and portion out the crab cakes. Portion them out. You wanna get a nice size on them, you know? So you just wanna go ahead and kind of form them into that nice crab cake. Try to keep that crab meat, that jumbo lump crab meat all together. You don't wanna be too, too rough on it. All right, next step, we're gonna go ahead and transfer our crab cakes that we have put up here. We're gonna transfer them to the skillet with some olive oil so we can, you know, go ahead and get them cooking or whatnot. The same thing we use for our purpose and leaves. Go ahead and add a little butter to it as well. Kind of like to mix it a little bit. I don't like to give them all butter or all olive oil. Give them like the best of both flavors. So what we're about to do now is go ahead and add the crab cakes. So oil and butter, go ahead and get them going. I'm gonna let those cook for about eight minutes on each side or whatnot. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and transfer our crab cakes from the stove top into the oven on broth for about a good two or three minutes. While the crab cakes are in the oven finishing off, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our dipping sauce that we're gonna go ahead and pair with the crab cakes. So first, the first thing you're gonna start off with is just add a tablespoon of mayo. Mayonnaise, it's a pretty simple sauce, but it's pretty good. Man, ketchup, a tablespoon. Last but not least, fresh herbs. Go 
I'll blow up this one. Yeah. 